What if I told you that we have evidence in the archaeological record that the Egyptologists just aren't using for dating the Sphinx? That's what we'll be exploring today here on this channel. My name is NEXT. This is the Adept Expeditions YouTube channel. And if you are anything like me and you have a penchant for exploring ancient history and esoteric mysteries, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and be sure to also hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. Today we're going inside the Sphinx enclosure where we will see the evidence presented by Dr. Manu Saifzadeh. Let's get into the footage. I wanna show you something that is the Egyptologists themselves have unearthed. Here is a wooden plate. There you see something that looks like a square temple and look there, there's a lion, mm. a lion statue, so something as big as a temple and guess what? This is 500 years older than Khafre. It's the old oh. kingdom, right? So this is a uh, Flinders Petrie found this. And for comparison, right, I have a photo here. This is from up the mountain here, Gebel Ghibli. So that's what, what you would be looking at now. You see the Sphinx and you see the temple in front of it. And that is basically what an, uh, a, a tourist might have seen 5,000 years ago, taking a Polaroid picture from that up there. They would have seen this and that, okay? Now this is evidence that the Egyptologists have had in their backyard, but they're not using it. I don't know why can't explain that to you, okay? Now, one more thing I wanted to say, the names. Okay, so here's Mahid, by the way. That's the jaw sign, that's the opener. Here is how you get the two names of the Great Sphinx. So remember, I said that Horem, Achet, and Horachti have to do with horse, right? How does, how does that relate to a lion? Well, this is the person, Mary, who was alive under Kafre. He was a scribe of Mahid. Here's the, the right side of his famous architrave. This is at the Met in New York. And here's the other side, and there you see the only evidence, the only example of this title, the who, who, two horses in the desert. Mm. Herui, I'm Chasti, okay? And guess what? You can get both names out of that title. Heru, Achti, or Achti, mm. and Heru, M, Achet, or M, Achet, okay? That's where the two names come from. This is how I'm reconstructing it. So this is Old Kingdom. That's when the new cult started. The Sphinx cult replaced the Mahid cult. A man, a, ma a male statue, an anthropomorphic statue replaced a female lioness statue. Yeah. The greatest identity theft in the history of <laughs> mankind. That is what Robert Nealand says. Robert Nealand is the award-winning sculptor that we yes, referenced earlier. He's right on the money, okay? It's an identity theft. Oh. This is a crime scene. <laughs> Anti-feminist. Anti-feminist, yes, yes. Yeah. This was a female, the, this was a female statue, Whoa. yes. So this is how, and this is so obvious, right? I don't understand why this was never discovered. I'm, who am I, right? I'm just a dermatologist, okay? I'm a, somebody who watched Nat, Nat Geo Discovery Channel. I watched NEXT maybe a few years ago, and I got into this and I'm stumbling over all this. So, so should you, you should ask questions. Stop watching TV, research. Okay. And here is yeah. hieroglyphics, like this yeah. newspaper. You teach yourself astronomy, geometry, hieroglyphics, okay? Learn it, start investigating. You will find some amazing stuff because other people don't want to. Mm. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's an important lesson yeah. for all of us too. You know, you don't want to just accept something. Don't even take our word for it. Go out and research for yourselves. See what resonates with you within and, and verify what you're reading. Go to the sources. You, you have your favorite alternative authors. Look at the sources they cite and read those sources and read their sources if, it, if you feel called to you know, verify the evidence for yourself. But I understand not everyone is compelled to do that. And that's why sometimes we need filters and trusted sources. And this is precisely why you should subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And please be sure to click the bell icon for updates and notifications on future videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a short one, but it's just one in a series of videos that I have coming from inside the Sphinx enclosure. All this footage was captured during my recent Lost Technologies and Symbolism tour of Egypt, featuring myself and colleagues, Dr. Manu Saifzadeh and Christopher Dunn. If you would like to see more videos of us inside the Sphinx enclosure, you can do so. I do have a playlist here on this channel called the Sphinx of Egypt that you can watch. I will be updating more content from that tour in coming weeks. But if you don't wanna wait, and if you want uninterrupted, commercial-free, raw footage behind the scenes with me, Dr. Manu Saifzadeh, and Christopher Dunn, 
at the Sphinx enclosure. We have the whole, I mean, it's over an hour long, but we have the whole virtual experience available for private members of Ancient Egypt Mystery Schools. You can watch the full virtual tour by becoming a private member at ancientegyptmysteryschools.com. Ancient Egypt Mystery Schools, by the way, is my private membership site where I offer content not available here on this YouTube channel. In fact, not available anywhere else. It's a great way to support. Private members also receive discounts for my Adept Expeditions Tours of Egypt. And if you would like to see the Sphinx in person, up close to investigate it for yourself, we will be returning inside the Sphinx enclosure, which is not available to the general public. This requires special permissions. I have another special permissions tour coming up, the Ancient Technology and Esoteric Symbolism Tour, this September 2022, featuring myself and Johanna James. You can learn more and reserve your spot today at adeptexpeditions.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thanks for watching everyone. If you did enjoy it, please leave a comment down below and please subscribe. This is NEXT for AdeptExpeditions.com.